Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before you begin with your love reading, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of pentacles so this is an energy of working really hard on something um, being very almost perfectionistic with it trying to really be particular about something and really trying to get things in order here so this could be you focusing a lot on working or building a relationship working on it and trying to make it perfect or you could be focusing on working on yourself or bettering yourself and trying to really must become a perfect version of yourself for this relationship or this could be you focusing more on your career and your finances so this could be vice versa someone you're dealing with may be in this energy right now wanting to really work on this connection you know this person is willing to really put in the effort and the work to make this work and they really want to be the best version of themselves for this connection this person really values and treasures this connection and they want to put their best foot forward so this person may have some perfectionist tendencies they, they may be very much focused on the small things very focused on the details trying to really be perfect for this connection or to really do this connection correctly and to to not disappoint and to to the, this person can be a bit hyper focused on being good enough or perfect and putting in a lot of work for this connection so this person may be even you know trying to earn your affection doing a lot and trying to earn your love this person may just really believe that they have to work really hard to make this work or there may have been something that um, affected the connection and now they're working really hard to you know build rebuild the connection and they're really putting their best foot forward with this because this person really does want this this person is very connect, committed to the connection with this pentacles energy here this person is reliable and they they're stable they're ready to really commit to this connection so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this so the first card we have here is the chariot so this is cancer energy you could be dealing with another cancer this is your energy cancer and next we have the eight of swords this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy and finally we have the ace of wands this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy okay so with this chariot energy this is again this person truly does believe in this connection and they see the potential for a lot of success here and they actually want to take control of the situation this person wants things to move forward and they want to get the ball the ball rolling with this connection this person really believes that you are their success they're happily ever after they really they they really cherish this connection and they want to make it work so i see them taking control over that and really putting in the hard work and dedicating themselves and committing you know and putting in effort to make this work and with the ace of swords and um, the eight of swords here in the reverse this person may have been a bit stuck in their head when it came to this because there is that a bit of some perfectionist tendencies on this person's part and this may have held them back a bit in the past such that it may have slowed them down it may they may have felt like they were not good enough for this connection or for you and um, this may have held them back a bit but now this person is just buckling down and really trying to make this work this person they see the reward as being worth the risk this person is willing to really prove themselves to you and this person feels like they have to prove themselves to you so i do see them really putting in a lot of effort to make this work and with the ace of wands here there's potential for a very passionate and um 
a, a very warm, um, affectionate beginning here. This person has a lot of love and intense feelings towards you. This person is very passionate about you and I do see them wanting this new beginning with you. This person may even view you as someone that they would like to have kids with or, um, you know, they just, they really value you and your your affection. They, 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 they get a lot of warmth and nurturing from this connection. And I do see them wanting to keep you in their life for as long as possible. This person is willing to really put in whatever work it takes to make this work. And I do see that so they, they want to prove themselves to you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit card. So this is Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So this is a card of a lot of introspection. So this person, um, they may have really done a lot of self-reflection. And they may have, if it's possible that this person may have not treated you right in the in the past, or they may feel like they, not, they were not good enough for you. And this is someone who is really working on themselves. This person wants to be a better version of themselves for you and they've really gone within and they, they, they're healing from the inside out. So this person, not only are they working hard to make this work and to show you that they're worthy of this connection, this person is also working on the inside and bettering themselves and doing the introspection and really trying to be a better person for this connection. This person is, you know, becoming very wise. This person is learning a lot in this journey. So I do see that this person is coming from a place of wanting to be a better person, um, very mature energy and ready to commit as well. So I am seeing this person has learned a lot from whatever may have happened in the past. This person is willing to really um, do the internal work and the external work to make this happen because they really do believe in this connection. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. So next we have the Seven of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Then we have this, the Ace of Swords. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Then we have the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And finally, we have the Knights of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this person is struggling with this um, seven of wands energy. This is again them fighting for something. They, they're fighting for this connection. This person really doesn't want to lose this connection. This person believes very strongly in it and they see a lot of victory and success with this. With the ace of swords, this is victorious energy. They want a victory with you. This person sees you as the ultimate. And with the nine of um, wands, this person they, they're willing to keep going. This person is willing to really endure the exhaustion, work tirelessly to make this work because they really do believe in this connection. And with the Knight of Swords, this person is very passionate and they want things to move forward um, almost quickly. With the, the Chariot and the Knight of Swords, this is fast forward movement. This person wants things to move forward again. They, they wanna get the ball rolling, they believe in this. And I do see them taking the initiative and coming towards you. So this person is letting it be known. Their intentions are very clear here. And um, they were, they're they ready to put in the work here and to, they really wanna prove themselves to you. So this person has pure intentions and it looks like their intention is to commit. They wanna to commit to something stable, long-term, long-lasting, and they want something solid. They, they, they wanna be loyal to you. This is someone who's ready. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.